Hello, this is Aaron McCoy, uh, or the St. Louis Maker. I'm starting this video series in an attempt to get a handle on what is easily becoming an overwhelming plethora of unfinished tasks. I seem to continue starting projects and never complete them. So if I start documenting them, uh, and posting them for feedback, uh, it might pressure me to do a little bit more. This is my office. It is a mess of electronics and computer parts. Um, we'll eventually get around to all of the tools and technologies that I have, but a quick overview uh, will be the main gems. I've got my Shapeoko CNC machine, which I had to replace a couple parts. I 3D printed a few of them, like these end plates right here. And I've installed a kill switch, among a few other things. I'm currently in the process of converting this from a CNC wood router to a laser engraver. Um, so that's that. I've got my 3D printer up here. It's a Robo 3D R1. Uh, I've got it propped up right now because my nozzle extruder is clogged. So I've got to clean that out. That happens when I get this cheap filament. I get this $15 filament from Micro PC, and it just does not work out very well. Um, so I gotta take that extruder nozzle head off and clean it real well. I've got uh, um quadcopter. I've only flown it once or twice. Uh, so so far it's been a complete waste of money. But it's got it came with a bunch of extra parts used from a guy that I bought. So I'm taking a lot of those parts with some 3D printed pieces to build another quadcopter. This one's from a design from a gentleman on Thingiverse. It's a Crossfire 2. And that's all that. I've got all the pieces for that. I just need to get to finishing it. Uh, over here in my closet I've got a half-finished um, what is going to be a lawnmower robot. Um, I decided to change the way the wheels are put on there, so I need to uh, recut and move around some of my my wood. Uh, I have a bigger version of the Shapeoko CNC wood router out in the garage. It's probably about three foot by five foot cutting area. Uh, I've upgraded all the motors on that. Until now, it doesn't work anymore. Uh, it outgrew the three-axis controller that I had for it. So I've just gotten the mail an X controller. By Inventables. Been waiting a long time for this. Uh, just opened the box and I see that it's a kit. It's all in pieces. Uh, it sort of makes sense because it's from Inventables. Most everything they send is a kit in pieces. But I was hoping to just start using it. Nowhere on their site that I saw does it say that it was a kit. So now i got to spend more time building this thing before I can use it. But, that being said, once I do have it put together, it's much more powerful than um, the old controller. It can provide a lot more wattage to each of the motors which is great because I've just put motors on it that are too big for the controller I had and it actually fried it. I had to replace that for this CNC machine. Um, so that being said, it should be a much more useful CNC wood router uh, because it will be able to cut some heavier m materials 
faster uh, with my big uh, wood router that I've got on it right now. So that's the end of this video. I'm going to put together this mess. Um, you don't need to watch me do that, but once I do, we'll probably have another video of it in use. And expect a build video of me putting t this thing together. Uh, the next step in that is I need to 3D print a piece to attach the uh, laser heat sink and fan to the spindle mount. So I'm going to draw something up in Google SketchUp and 3D print that. But again, I got to fix that nozzle that's jammed up there. So that's that. Most of my videos will be coming from this uh, HD Sport MHD Sport 2.0 Wi-Fi. Came with a wristwatch, so I can actually see what's recording if I'm in close distance and start things and stop things from this watch. That's pretty cool. It's a HD video, and audio should be better in the future too, as I've got. A wireless $12 uh, audio kit that I'll plug right into the side of the action camera and that should sound good no matter where I have it mounted. Alright, see you guys in a little while.